This video is best viewed in full screen mode and on YouTube that's this icon right here and if you have a high bandwidth connection uh, you also want to watch it in HD which is this icon right here. Welcome to the judgment management system. I just want to take a moment uh, here to go over some things that will make you more familiar with the program. Uh, although most of this program is very intuitive there are a few things that uh, are best pointed out to you. Uh, first of all, if you want to get back to this video at any time, uh, you can just go over here under the help menu and select orientation video. All right, a uh, couple things. Whenever you see these links here, if you click on those, uh, you're going to get some sort of uh, action happening. So, for example, here, uh, if you click on that, uh, that brings up a dialog that allows you to control what is in that list. Um, also, here in the uh, contact types in this list here uh, you can control what's in that list by uh, using this dialog and of course all of these uh, forms generally speaking have a link that you can click on that'll take you to a video similar to this one in the sense that it uh, will walk you right through uh, the steps necessary to do whatever procedure it is you're trying to do and uh, another thing I wanted to show you is over here uh, in this actions uh, grid, uh, the items that are in this drop down list and the exact way that this grid looks uh, as far as what items are automatically entered into it on a new record uh, are all controlled by going uh, to this menu item here. And again, there's a link here that will help you walk through all the steps on how to uh, modify that grid. But uh, I want to point those things out to you because they're not intuitive. You wouldn't necessarily know that they were there if I didn't uh, point them out to you. Okay, and another thing is um, when you go to create your first judgment, uh, there's a video here that you can watch. It'll walk you right through creating your first judgment, or I should say entering in your first judgment. And same for entering in your first domestication. Uh, there's a video right here for that. Uh, also, um, you know, generally everything you're going to do is going to be on one of these six tabs. And uh, if you go under the help menu, there's a help by tab. And so if you're stuck on something on any one of those particular tabs, uh, you can just go here and watch a video that will walk you through uh, all the stuff there is to know about that particular tab. All right, now I want to take a moment to go over how the courts are handled in the program. Now you never type directly into any of these fields. Uh, what you do is you uh, work off of the court list. And the way you get to the court list is you just click on this link right here and this will bring you up the court list. And I'm just going to make up a court and enter it in here. And we're going to put this one uh, up in Alaska. Excuse my bad typing. Okay, so uh, we entered in a record and we just go in here and save it. And now we have a new item in our court list. And then uh, we can just say use selected court. And then boom, that information is entered in. All right, and the nice thing about that is, let's say we go here and we're going to save that, and we go, I'm going to enter, uh, create a new record, and we're going to use that same court. All I'll get to do is come up here, click that, and all that information is entered in there. So that's all set up that way, so you never have to enter court information in more than once. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and add a couple more things to this judgment. We're going to give it uh, an award amount. And we are going to give it a, well, actually, I'm not even going to put this date in next. Because the reason 
uh, I'm doing this is I want to show you one other thing that um, I want you to be aware of, which is this error situation here. Um, if you notice the background here on this record, or on record two of two, is uh, this pinkish red color, and that's to give you a visual cue that there is an error on this record. And uh, whenever you see that, if you click up here, it's going to give you a, uh, on this menu, it's going to light up. It's going to tell you how many errors you got. In this situation, we have two. And we click on that list, and it brings us up our error. And what this does is uh, bring up a list of all the errors that are uh, in your record, uh, explains what they are, and uh, basically tells you where to go to fix them. Uh, in this particular uh, situation here, we have two errors. Uh, one of them is the judgment date. Uh, is needed to calculate interest. So uh, we've created this judgment and we have an amount and we have the state selected uh, but we haven't put in a date yet. So that is why we got this error. And if you notice it's saying on the uh, tab judgments one and uh, the area is general which is this right here and the field is the judgment date which is this right here. So let's go ahead and fix that one real quick. So we're just going to make up a date here. All right, now you notice that we only got one error left. And if you click here, it says the error, the interest rate info for the state of Alaska is missing. And it says it's the state interest rate. And the area is Alaska. And I just want to, uh, I purposely made this error come up because I wanted to uh, talk to you for a moment about state interest rate information. You may, when you put in a record, uh, get an error about the state interest rate information. More often than not, it's probably going to be that it, it'll more, uh, be that it's out of date, not that it's missing, because uh, this program is rolled out with uh, information on all of the states. But anyhow, I just want to show this to you. Uh, we're going to uh, save it, and we're going to go over here to the state interest rates, and uh, we're going to go over here to Alaska. And if you notice, uh, this information uh, is not filled out, and that's what that error is about. And uh, just this is where I just want to go over this with you. This is where all the information is entered in uh, for a state. Uh, you enter in your interest rates over here uh, in this grid, and uh, you completely fill out this form, and then uh, that tells the program um, how to calculate interest and how to apply rules such as when a uh, judgment expires or when a renewed judgment expires and what the interest rate rules are, uh, things of that nature. And um, if you want to know more about this form and how it works, uh, there's a link here that will take you uh, through a detailed walkthrough on uh, state interest rates and rules. But anyhow, I just want to make you aware of that uh, one of that state interest rate form because you will have to visit that at some time or another and two, um, how this uh, error list works and what it's all about. Okay, and if we want to make this error go away, what we do is we would uh, go ahead and fill out the uh, information for Alaska and save it, and then uh, that error would go away. And then also, if you notice, all this stuff down here says error, and that's because none of this stuff can be calculated until the uh, program has up-to-date information on the state interest rates and rules. So we're going to go ahead and just delete this record uh, to get rid of that error so it's not looking at us. Also, uh, you can search or sort off any field in the database and of course you wouldn't be aware of that if someone didn't point it out to you like I'm going to do right now. Uh, the way you get to that functionality is you right click on these labels. So if you right click on any of these labels uh, on any of the tabs, uh, you can uh, sort off that field and it'll sort all your records off that uh, or you can uh, click on that and uh, the, it'll bring up a dialog and you can type in what it is you uh, want to search for. Uh, one other thing that you may not be aware of if somebody didn't show it to you is on this grid tool here uh, if you right click on what is called the row header you get a couple pop-up options uh, for example we can delete uh, that row and delete that row there and so that's how that works and uh, that's the end of the orientation video. If you're an NJN member, uh, I would click on the link below and go ahead and import my data. Uh, and also, if you uh, never watched the demo video, you might want to click on that link and uh, get a complete overview of the program. 
I hope you enjoy the software.